court, uh, court, yes. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, and it's now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes, so I'll leave both of their links down below, as well as the Goodreads group if you guys want to check out topics for yourself. Today's topic is book covers that you'd live in. This is actually way more difficult than I thought it would be because most of my books are thrillers, so they have like killers on the cover or like lots of like blood or gore or like things along that nature and your girl is not not about living in those places so it was actually a lot harder and i kind of got a little creative but we'll see how this goes so without further ado let us get started the first two books have the same thing on the cover and if you've been on this channel for a while you know that i am absolutely in love with paris it's like my dream destination so the two books that i found on my shelves that have Paris Incorporated are Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. As you can see, Eiffel Tower. As well as A Conspiracy of Alchemists by Liesel Schwarz. I love Paris. As I said, I want to go there so badly. It's like my dream. So one day I'll get there. So obviously I would love to live in Paris if I had the chance. The next book cover that I would love to live in is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner because I really want to go to space. Although I would probably be like the first person to die in space. I feel like it would be so pretty to see all the stars up close. I don't know if that's like a thing, like do stars disappear if you're in the sky? I don't know. That probably made me sound really stupid, but like, I just think that space is so fascinating and it would be so much fun to go there. The next two books I chose represent a destination that I think would be fun because I love these places. And it is Four by Veronica Roth as well as Awful Down by Jennifer Weiner. And they are to represent the like amusement parks or like the fair. Because I love me some roller coasters and ferris wheels and like all the food that goes along with the fair. Because like, can we just talk about cotton candy and candy apples and like funnel cake and just, huh, so good. So that's what I'm choosing for destination number three, the fair. The next book that I chose is called One Italian Summer and this is by Kara Stainton and Obviously, Italy would be super fun to go to, but also, moped. I've never been on a moped, and, like, I want to so bad, just so I can, like, drive down the road and be like, beep, 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 I think that it would be fun. So I want to go to Italy and ride on a moped. So this is the other place that I want to live in. Then the final book that I chose is The Wanderers by Kate Ormond, and this is to represent the circus. I could have picked the night circus, but it's in my mom's room, and your girl lazy, and didn't want to go find the book. But, yes. I love the circus so dang much. Also, cotton candy is there, so, you know, your girl would love to go there. Have you sense the theme here? There's a lot of food going on. Your girl likes food. Alright guys, so that is my top five Wednesday for this week. Let me know down below if you would want to go to any of these places, because I mean, like, who wouldn't want to go to Paris, the circus, the fair, or Italy, or wherever else my fifth one was that I can't remember, space. I'm just saying, like, who, who, those are great places. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!